Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilas and this is now episode 14 of our Let's Play. We're still under a bit of duress, a bit of stress here to get off this uh, solar system or get out of the solar system before we run out of iron. And what do we have? We are down to 2.3 million remaining. And as long as I do science, then I am still going to keep consuming it. This is uh, where we are. I have started up the research of this one, the drive engine, which is unlocks warp, mecha warp, and that is our objective. The objective is to get the remaining science completed today so that we can escape this planet. Now, in order for us to do that, we have to sort of backtrack, and I'll just uh, reiterate this so everyone is clear on what we're doing so it doesn't become like, and now we build this, now we build that. So we're gonna start to make, well, we're not gonna be starting, we're gonna end by making warpers, and that is using the green lenses. We don't have the green cubes and they are very much not available. So this is the green lenses, what we need to do. Green lenses tracing back here, that is diamonds, which we already have. And then it's strange matter that we now need to up, is our objectives. Strange matter up here is the particle containers, which will be a bit of a problem, but I think we can make you a bit of iron. Yep, always iron, right? And then some new and interesting material, deuterium, which we can get in two, three different ways. We can get it from our gas giant. That's the one we're going to do. We can do it with fractionating uh, hydrogen. Uh, we might do that later. And then we can uh, convert it with particle colliders directly from hydrogen to deuterium. That is very power intensive. So that's not what we're going to do. But that being said, uh, this seems easy enough. Then we just need to... but. In order for us to build this, we have two things we don't have yet, and that's uh, going to be the start of it. We are going to start by making uh, there gas giant orbital collectors. That is our key objective. And in order for us to do that, we're going to need to do accumulators. Right. So let's do some accumulators here. How do we make accumulators? Well, accumulators are interestingly enough, they are something you can't make them full, but you have to make them empty and then you need to charge them. So that is what we're going to do here. We are going to set up and I found a location that I want to use right here, right in the middle of this location. So it's it's a small thing, so we can just build it here where this one overlaps. So I'm going to use a low value location for this build. And that would be this one. So what are we building? Well, we are building full accumulators. And in order to build full accumulators, we need empty accumulators. I don't know if I even want them in here. And uh, I don't think I have to really want empty accumulators. We'll have to do something else. Ooh, drive engine mod four. Great. And then we are upgrading our drones and our vessels. That's what we need. And I completely forgot what I was looking for. I was looking for the stuff that is needed for the accumulators. Accumulators was, okay. Okay, I'm going to put this down here so I can remember. There. Okay. The first one is iron and iron plates. <clears throat> Always a thing. Then it is the super magnetic ring, which is actually a lot easier to do. It's now only one for each, but instead of six, which it was previously, and then some green D6s. There. Let's get those things in. And quantity-wise, I think it's kind of simple right i think i want to just build some we're going to build a small build because we don't really need much this is not for sort of feeding the entire galaxy with this this is simply for just getting a small build so we can get things going and do it exclusively for this purpose so we're not really going to be using these in yeah that's that definitely not the, the intention is that actually in the middle of this yeah it's this area yeah it is so it's going to be really close and get this here. I'm going to get the sticky iron. That one is here. The other one will be this with small, qu lower quantity. Go. And on the side, I will get the third ingredient here. Then I'm going to take the empty ones further down the line which is what we do here. I will now hook this up. Should be straightforward. In one, two in, one in and one out. There we go. Drag it those five, get some power. Is this powered? No, it's not. I'll power you here, 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 and here. Yes. Let's hook it up immediately. I think I just want maybe 1,000 of this. 
they are pretty expensive or they will get pretty expensive this is low quantity items so i'll just do 1000 for each yeah local oh we need that one in and out and in and nothing and remember this has to go all the way up that's good so they will start working and what happens now now they will go out here and from there i need to get some please have those built i can't remember ah there we go that one let's get a few of these we don't really need a lot they are pretty damn effective six i think that's a good number so this is an energy exchanger energy exchangers are really weird but they're super good i love energy exchangers absolutely love them hmm how are we gonna do it maybe like that i guess or we can just move one two three four five six looking good that is energy exchangers they can either charge or discharge batteries and that's exactly what we want so i will get this one i'll actually get it in here and get a splitter and another splitter and another splitter Ooh, logistics capacity the purple science is just chugging along and technically we don't need the last one but the idea is okay what are you not working oh oh you are coming okay good i was just thinking it wouldn't work in and this one goes directly in there no what's it called there are no sorters for this which is really nice because it also means that you can actually just allow them to go through you if you feed a full a fuel accumulator through one of these that will be on charge mode charge charge i love this building it's so cool it's such a first of all such a great idea second of all it looks so good there and goes out here these just need to be merged in ah oh, look at how my, how nice our drones are behaving now i have nine drones and they are slightly faster they're actually getting something in and they are starting to charge they're getting some accumulators in here and you can see oh this also looks so good so good love it and then the idea is that ah oh, there you go charge accumulators coming in pretty simple and inbound that's it and they will just hurry up and get in there perfect and that's basically how it's gonna go for all of this i'm just racking up to 1000 what we need to do from here is go back to our hub Let's switch that off and back to our hub where we are building the uh, there, where is it that one here so i just need to get 100 in and then see if all of these machines look good they will and we should be seeing something coming in here i'm getting 120 and oh right why is it 120 because now the drones actually if you look at this they actually have 60 capacity and when i get the next one they'll have 70 capacity we can go up to 100 which is super nice all right so what we have now is we just want to see that it actually works and it actually gets started and then we'll do a bit of a cut so we are ready to go up because we need to have 60 uh 40 of these to fill in a full gas giant and when we do that i really don't see the point of of not going all in whenever you can cool it works this one is building and we don't have any but we do so let's uh wait a bit until we are ready to go with the next for the next part and so we're ready we built some oh that's actually a lot more than i needed and uh, that's good I will go to 40, take 40 of these in my inventory. Why is it 40? That's just how many you can have around the uh, gas giant. So no point in arguing with that. That's just how many. And I'll also re-enable our tech, that one. So we can keep going on this. And what else is there? I think we want to get stuff like longer solar panel life, better, better emergency. Uh, I don't know what it is there. Okay, good. All right, and what we now need to do is make sure that we have some fuel. We do have some fuel. And then see if I can find my gas giant. Oh, I got, I found it, I found it. 
All right, hello, Saint Cabbage One. You gassy giant, and smashing down here. All right, so first we have to find the equator that we do here. This is the equator, not surprisingly, we landed here, and then we go over to the transportation. Funny how, oh right, of course energy exchange is transportation because it's the whole point is that it transport. So we build one here and we can build the next one over here. And that is again one of those things that will take a while to do because it's mainly just waiting for the drones to get on with it. The drones are super slow. As you can see, they will fly. They'll fly slowly, slowly, slowly and here. So this is again something I want to just skip so we can focus on more interesting things than this. And so we are approaching the end. This is the second to last and the final one. So as we place the final one, we can see that the loop is complete and we can come back to the first one, the one we placed. And before I went all the way around, used my 40 uh, available one and you can see here. So I'm just gonna explain how it works because if I look at the planet as such, this is one what really threw me off. It says 0 0.81 hydrogen per second and 0.04 the deuterium per second. I was like, that's not a lot, like 0.04. The thing is like, you multiply it by 40 because you have 40 all the way around. And then on top of that, if you look at this here, oh, I can't even look at it here. I can look at it there. The, the speed here, the gathering speed is 9.6. So let's just call it 10, right? So we basically have to take this number. Let me just bring up a calculator for myself here. 0 0.04, and then I multiply by the crafting speed, 9.6, and then I multiply it by the fact that there are 40 of them. That means I'm actually getting 15.36 per second. And that's just for deuterium. And that increases as we increase this one, the vein utilization, which is also increasing the mining speed, which infects this one as well. So this uh, is actually still 15 deuterium per second. That's pretty good, and it's gonna stockpile. Uh, some of it, of course, will be used for just fueling itself, but I think it uses hydrogen. I don't actually have any clue. But generally speaking, it's going to be a nice supply of, of deuterium that you don't really have to care about. It doesn't take any power. It's just there. So it's a fixed cost investment. And that's, uh, that's always nice. Oh, I found a little glitch there. So what is the next on the agenda? The next thing we want to do is, um, well, it, it would actually be, if you look at it, we have all the ingredients here, but there is a problem. And that's what I mentioned before that this is made a particle collider. The particle collider isn't available until we also have the frame material. So yeah, we need to make some frame material. Frame material is something that we are going to, I misclicked there. Frame material is also used for the satellite substations, which take too much power to use, and also the ninja stars, and those ninja stars are part of the Dyson Sphere component. So you can see I need three of those. So that's a lot. So we'll start building some, not like a silly amount, but first we're gonna have to find out the location for it. I think I want the location to be, hmm, where is it, where is it? There, that's the location. I want it below that one, because that's kind of connected, those titanium, hardened titanium things that makes sense and there nope yeah all right let's build it does that seem good yeah it does that one is just completely random location oh that's because this one is this one is on the, on that line uh okay so this line here i think is good it connects to that one which I think is correct. Yeah, okay, we're gonna build it here. On this line. Start with, as always, it's gonna be a big build, so let's get that one. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five squares from one side and five squares from the other side. And let's plop down a power pole here and a power pole there so that it connects. All right, the objective here is frame material. Frame material is super expensive in nanotubes. So we're definitely running out of nanotubes, but nanotubes is one of the things that can be made in a super simple way. Look at that, the spiny form something something is directly into nanotubes, super nice. One of the, one of my favorite, uh, yeah, one of my favorite uh, rare recipes actually. Right, back to this one. And it also needs the titanium thingy, that one. And what was the last thing? The last thing was a bit of silicon. There we go. So that should be good. I'll put in here and here. And let's see, this is high quantity, so we have to be somewhat, but it's 
even though this is it's it's four of the nanotubes and it's still on a six second cycle so since there are three ins and three outs then we have a standard pattern if you are in doubt how i come up with all these standard patterns i have a tutorial that's called five builds to rule them all it's basically five builds to rule them all yeah it's it's that simple there are basically uh, basically five builds in the game and once you do those five builds then you have you can build pretty much everything and this is just this is one of them three in one out and of course there are subtle variations as well of course and this one and we go back that also means this one has to be the return oh i can't do that yet that one and the silicon goes here and this one goes back in and then unfortunately we have to use one of the back outputs again here for this one which is exactly the same as i can't even do remember but we built one in the previous episode that was kind of exactly the same pattern as this and that's just the that's the essence of it that there are some builds that once you have those it makes it a lot easier uh, again, I, I did exactly the same thing I did wrong the last time. Oh, that was... And I will now get nanotubes into here and then outbound again. How big do we want to make it? Well, it's, all, it's working on a six second cycle, so... Let's uh, let's see if uh, how about this? That's fifteen. I like fifteen. Let's uh, let's get this up and running, and then we'll be done. We'll proceed. So that was easy, easy to set up. How much of this do we want? I'm gonna say 5,000, which is way too much. I'm gonna say 2,000. And I'll take 2,000 of each of these inbound. That seems pretty okay. Good. Oh, actually don't want this. Do I? No, I don't. Uh, this one, local. And let's see if everything is working. Looks like everything is coming in, but nanotubes are not doing so hot. Are we seriously running out of nanotubes? We're probably running out of nanotubes because of the science. Let's have a look because that's kind of not great. This one, yeah, you still have all of what you need. Let's see if I can find the production of nanotubes. There, this one. You still have all the nanotubes that you like. So nanotubes, that is... there oh dear we are out of graphene that is uh that's not great that's not great let's have a look at why we are out of graphene i do have some suspicions on how why and all of this has been emptied yep and stone is coming in regular this is coming in this is coming in it's coming in. so basically the answer is that we have everything we need we're just consuming it too fast Oh, that's disappointing, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Very disappointing, because there's not much I can do about that. Um, and what happens is that now this means that I will actually also be running out of 
running out of solar panels, which means our planet is going to crash in terms of power because I'm doing way too much on this. So maybe, maybe just maybe I don't want so much of this. There we go. I have two of them completed. Now, I think this is a probably a good idea for me to just take a little break and then uh, let some of these things accumulate and then we'll go up and make sure that we can build the things up here and then we can move on with the next thing instead of me just sitting here waiting for it to happen. Let's do that. Here we are. We are now... We have this available. I kind of stalled out. I want to take 32 of these. They take an absurd amount of power. So 32 is absolutely the maximum I can take. And we need some vessels. We need some different things. I think I got what I need, but there are always uh, just a few things that are nice to bring along. Let's get those from here, that one. Let's get just a few of these. There we go. And from that one, just a few of that. And it is now time to head over to the second planet, to Wundertutter. This is where we're going to build it. Why here? Well, I, I, it's going to take a lot of power. And although I have most of the things at other locations, then I think this is just the safest place to build, to build it. And then I need to figure out where I want to build it. That's going to be the next little challenge. It's going to be right there. I have some power. Yeah, that did not help me at all, figuring out where... That's supposed to be i think it was definitely going to be up here and then i just keep circling until we get to this location all right so this is going to be location oh did i forget to uh i kind of forgot to get forgot to get some power so here it's important that i use a custom why am i using a custom when i'm just using the default white one well because i am waiting for skippy so if uh, there is a skippy uh, Oh, if Wunder was uh, was which was looking at this, the next one is going to be called Skippy. But uh, if Wunder is around, then uh, and wants to comment on a preference preferential color, then I will make it that color. So it is uh, basically the patron supporters that I named the named the planets after will also get to choose the color they want if they're around. Otherwise, I'll just come up with something and preferably light colors so it doesn't get all too gloomy. Because for some reason, whatever I build, it's always nighttime. What we're going to do is we are going to make some strange matter. That requires some particle containers. It requires a bit of iron, not iron ore, iron, and it requires a lot of deuterium. A lot, a lot, a lot of deuterium. There we go. And I will do this. I have this one that says, do you want to pick it up from an orbital collector? Oh, yes, I do. So I might as well do that. There's no point in having a local demand because there is no local demand, but I could do a remote demand. Please work. Damn it. Maybe that's because none of these have reached up to 400 yet. 600 yet, right? It's this is now 600. So that could be. I'm going to leave it be. I can also just turn this one down, but I'm just going to leave it be uh, for uh, for now. Now I'm just getting kind of worried, but we can worry about that. So these gigantic things, let's uh, build, figure out what we're going to do. I think the answer is two rows. There. And one of these will be deuterium. Then I'll have the return. And then I'll have some more deuterium on this side. Then on the outside, I will have... Here. And I'll have the other one. The iron parts. there okay and that should be pretty simple to wire this one up in out in out and just here in in and these ones are absolutely disgustingly demanding when it comes to power poles i remember that uh so if i place it here and nope Got. 
none of these there and there right that one and what here yep this is gonna be a long long one <clears throat> and that means i also have to have power poles every single iteration and that means also even more space between yeah i don't know if it can be done better but let's uh let's build a giant one it's probably going to reach a lot further because i want 16 on each and i also forgot to set the recipe this one will be yeah there all right let's build this and see how uh, how that's going to be set up So this is now done. Let's see what's going on here. They have still not come in here. I am pretty sure this is due to the fact that they are just accumulating so slowly. But that's, um, that is just what it is. We're, we're going to be building this one. This is actually going to be requesting globally. Like there. And this one will both take local. Which isn't happening. And take that one. Alright, so that will be... Global coming in. This one is not working. I think I'm going to try setting this one down and see. Oh, this one is... Uh, the, the particle container is not exported. Oh, I think it's because it's a planetary. What if I do that? 80%? Nope. 70%? There we go. Ah, see. Interesting, right? That's very interesting. So it is working. It was just... They were only at 60%. 70% Six, of 600 is 420. So there's about 420 that had accumulated, but... As you can see, all of them that were sent out. Let's do that one. We don't need to fly out unless we have something. I'm going to be, uh, while we're waiting for that to come in, I'm going to go back and set this one up to be exporting. Setting that to export was exactly what we needed. So we now have this coming in here at a nice rate. Uh, the deuterium is not keeping up. That is what it is. But uh, we are getting just a bit of this strange matter. Each one of the strange matter will become one lens. Each lens will become one warper. So already now we can warp back and forth 200 times with what we have here. It's not a lot, but it's something. And obviously we need more deuterium, but the, what we also need is just time and iron. So this is great. We have all of our strange matter. And uh, since time is progressing, so that is one of the things that time will do if you let it. Uh, there we go. Then I am going to go to this one. I think I can find my way to this planet without looking. And I can also just make sure that that one goes out. I really wish that that would be cleared when you land on a planet. That would be so nice. Right. So now we need to figure out where we want to build the last two things. They're super easy to build, but they still need to be built. And they need to figure out where that's going to be. So let me see. This is the green lenses. Green lenses will be... Green lenses. I am going to build it above something. I'm looking for my coils. Iron coils, iron coils, iron coils. Where are the iron coils? Do I not have iron coils on this planet? Yeah, I do. There. So I just need to build it above this location. That's where I want it. So, kind of someone else has built something there in ahead of us, but that's okay. 
there that's our iron coils that means it's easy to get this luckily we still have a lot of things and it, the objective is anyway to fill up this planet make it a beautiful single color there we go that is good let's have a look <clears throat> i think this one will be on that one that line Starting, this is the line, and in the middle. <clears throat> so what is it we want to build for this one? This is going to be just the green lenses, and if we look at how many strange matter I built, if it could be producing, then I only built 12, so that's 12 times 2, that's 24, and the strange matter built, oops, over here, strange matter was building, 24 so it's only three per second i'm building okay so i'm building three per second but this one could be something like five per second just i'm gonna accumulate something and i'm eventually gonna expand the other one this is on a six second cycle so if i build 12 yeah so let's build 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yep and this is super simple two things in not very high quantity so I'm going to take, oh, this is green lenses. We need the green lenses for the green signs. So we need to make, make some of these as well. And some diamonds here and some strange matter, the most important one. And I will then take there, took a while to get it and like this. And I'll take the other one next to it. Because then it's easier just to take it this here on the outside. Looking good. And the return. Let's make sure we get this powered here. So they're connected. And let's get some power while we do this. Uh, there. Oh, hold on, it's actually generally, generally a better idea to build the power poles closer to the equator because that's where it's widest. That's where squares are widest, so if there is going to be a problem, then that's going to be the one where we need this more space or more coverage. Cool, and I will now go do simple inbounds, outbound, inbound, 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 out, and out easy easy see not even anything else i am going to take i'm just going to be modest with 2000 of these here i'm also going to get 2000 in i'm also going to get 2000 in these will be remote requested that is kind of going against our principles of doing import things let's do that let's try to uh, Go with this this one will be importing here is local supply remote demand get it hmm is that because we don't even have 600 yet yeah we probably don't have 600 yet weird there you go yeah so it is possible we are going to get some in this one these are the most precious our local demand and nothing out there Local demand and nothing. Sweet, that is made. I am good. Whoops, this and this. These will be provided both local and global. Maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. This is going to be simple, but it's going to take a bit of time to get in. So we could build the other one in the meantime. Shouldn't we do that? That should be easy as well. That will be. Hmm. That'll be down, down the other end. I'll go come back and see when if it's working, but I want to get uh, get as much done as possible so we can get some warpers operational today. And I have like a small location that I want to build it. Where do we want to build it? I want to build it actually right here. Right here. Yep, on this line. That is a gigantic area to waste for this, but oh well. And this is the most pathetic steel production we have. It's just, this is like the first thing we built 
and we this is back to our starter base right you can see we have weird things oh that's actually really nice that you uh, decided to just i love that love it how easy it is to uh to remove everything go splash nope no splash and now i don't have any steel production on this planet but what the hell would i want that for anyway it's not this is not a smelting planet and this will be super easy as well i just want warpers and i want lenses in and then i'm gonna do something clever it's always good when you tell yourself like i'm gonna do something clever it's like saying i'm not gonna make any mistakes today good luck with that by the power of optimism so this is gonna be super simple just one in outbound and one inbound and that's it then we'll have I'll take the first out. This will be... What is the cycle time for... That is... 10. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. Sometimes we get it. Sometimes we just... Uh, nail it. There we go. And why did I leave a little space here? Because at some point I'm going to run out of... I'm going to run out of this. And then I'm going to panic because I don't have a single one. So I can't go from A to B. So I am simply going to take... F few of these in here this is my little extra security so that when i forget to manage it properly and i run out then at least i will have a stack of warpers in there yeah it's silly but it's absolutely uh, unfortunately necessary i know myself that's the part i was mentioning that, that i thought was clever yeah and, you know, it's not really going to work very well unless it's powered. So let's get the power in here as well. And also need some inputs and outputs. In. Out. In. Out. Ah, yeah. Okay, so it was... Yeah. Let's see, can I build it? Yep. And the other one. Yeah. And that should be done. I can request. Oh, and that proves that the other one is working because at least I'm going to get 350 inbound and we will get some warpers. What are we going to do with the warpers? Well, there's only really one thing to do and that is warp away from this miserable location in search of something, something better. I am just going to go take a look at the other one, which we just built, that's down here, so we can see what it's looking like, and not surprisingly, it's completely stalling because of lack of strange matter. And strange matter is stalling because of lack of deuterium, but that's just the speed pace that I can build it at. I can probably just force another one in. No? Oh wow, it does not have a lot. Really? It really should be getting something from there. Oh well, that's a challenge for another day. Yay, we have the first warpers. I'm going to get those in there. I'm also making sure that I actually have a bit of fuel. That fuel warping is going to be a bad time. And not because I need it, but because I think it's fun. Then we are actually going to jump out here and I... It would be a shame if I didn't end this episode by warping away from, warping away from it all. There. So we need to look at one of these close ones and figure out what they are, what they're at. We'll take this one. Boop. And off we go. We can only take the short ones. And that will actually be the end of this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this mad dash to get out of our solar system and into the void. There you go. We managed to get the warp speed in one episode. Went a bit longer, but I think it was worth it. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying it, be sure to hit the like button. You know where it is. And uh, let me know what you like and don't like. Preferably what you like about this, episode, this, uh, this series. And I'll be back with more. Just so I'm going to keep it coming as long as you keep watching. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care and stay effective.